Jay-Z, one of several artists teaming up to block rap lyrics from being used in court. This comes after violent lyrics from several rap artists have been admitted as criminal evidence in trials. I think they know inherently uh, and from personal experience that their music sometimes is viewed differently by the judicial system. And frankly, it's a vestige of white supremacy uh, in our courts that prosecutors could get away with linking rap music lyrics to this type of criminal behavior. It seems to be a growing trend on the part of prosecutors to turn an artist's lyrics against him or her in a criminal trial. The other thing that's particularly troubling about it is that this type of prosecution and the introduction of these types of lyrics has a really apparent racial bias. The rap just started popping this year, and violence been popping for the longest. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you take, if you get rid of every gangster rapper in the game right now, and blackball them out the industry, and just say you can't make no more music right now, it's still gonna be violence. We, the jury in above entitled action, find the defendant Calvin Brodus not guilty of the crime of murder in the first degree. I got federal agents sitting in front of my house. One, two, three, four, five, six cars. It's, it's beyond us. It's nothing I could do. Rap is just like any other creative expression. Uh, so, you know, you can't assume that Bob Marley actually shot the sheriff, but you also can't assume that there's a man buried uh, and Edgar Allan Poe's floorboards. Uh, these types of um, artistic expressions, you know, are really across the board and need to be respected as such by prosecutors and more largely by our judicial system. We've identified um, at least 500 uh, instances in which lyrics have been used either to investigate or charge or ultimately prosecute, and in some instances, even fashion a sentence for an individual. The bill would guarantee freedom of creative expression in New York State by prohibiting prosecutors from using evidence of creative expression as criminal evidence against a person without clear and convincing proof that there is a literal or factual nexus between, say, rap music lyrics and the facts of a criminal case.
part of the trick here in Albany to get legislation passed is to get attention to bills that you might support. And we think that the hip hop artists who have lent this bill, their attention is going to help push it forward. And I'm hopeful uh, that with the support of so many advocates, we can get this bill across the finish line before the session ends.